Here's your very own cheese pizza. Take a look. Despite the global love affair with pizza, it seems that people tend to disagree on what are appropriate and tasty pizza toppings. So grab a slice as we count down the 15 strangest things people actually put on pizza. Crocodile pizza. Two beers, all right? One for me, one for me, mate. This pizza might be the one that bites back. Australia has experimented with a lot of strange, unfamiliar pizza toppings over the decades and has come up with many different varieties. One of the most prehistoric ingredients? Crocodile. The Australian Heritage Hotel is serving up pizzas with some good old croco on it. Not only does the establishment feature saltwater crocodile pizza with a Thai inspiration, but also kangaroo and emu pizzas as well. Despite his Australian heritage, it doesn't seem like this is the type of establishment that Steve Irwin would have dined within. No, no, oh. there's a good boy. Considering saltwater crocodiles only reside in certain geographic areas of the world, it's unlikely that this will be the next Pizza Hut special, but you can never say never, right? You're right. Haggis Pizza. This impossible. Why? Why is that impossible? By far one of the strangest pizza toppings ever created has to be the use of haggis. Haggis is known as the national food of Scotland, and the ingredients for its preparation are a little bit of a stomach turner. It's made by stuffing a sheep's stomach with a seasoned mixture of the sheep's organs. Typically, the mixture includes the lungs, heart, and liver to create the meat product. Although this dish is quite popular in the UK, it has often been disregarded by North American cuisine for its unconventional ingredient list. Despite its controversial nature, though, haggis pizza is actually one of the most popular pizzas on this list. It can be purchased at several pizzeria locations across the UK, and many homemade recipes can also be found online for home use. But considering that true haggis is illegal to transport to the US, this won't be showing up at any Chicago-style pizza joints anytime soon. I'm sorry, I'm having a really hard time processing information right now. Reindeer Pizza. Sorry, guys. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and the whole rest of Santa's sleigh would be absolutely heartbroken if they were to witness this next pizza topping. In Finland, a popular pizza has stemmed from a historically sacred animal of the land. While northern indigenous people of Finland have practiced the art of reindeer hunting for centuries, it has only recently found a new place on the Italian favorite. The pizza is known as Pizza Berlusconi and has grown in popularity over recent years. Not only is the dish a favorite amongst the locals, but it has also become a must try food for many culinary fans and tourists. I think you're right. It's probably the best pizza in Finland, for sure. It's wonderful to see the fusion of different customary practices. However, Rudolph may want to cover up that red nose again, or this time he might end up on a pizza pie. Come on, seriously. Green Peas Pizza don't like green food. This next ingredient isn't necessarily bizarre, but its placement as a pizza topping may seem a little odd to some. While Americans choose to slather up their pizzas with toppings like pepperoni, mushrooms, and olives, international pizza topping preferences can be completely different. While this is a completely average pizza dinner night for many international families, the internet absolutely exploded when Americans caught wind of this particular pea pie. This just seems like the perfect way to convince children to eat their veggies, all the while enjoying some pizza. It sounds like a win-win situation. With a pea pizza, everyone is happy. These pizzas also come served with another popular veggie, carrots. Yes, carrots and peas, the perfect sides put together on a pizza. <laughs> but judging by the reaction from North Americans, it seems unlikely this will be the best seller at Little Caesars anytime soon. Oh, well, that's a, that's a really Mayo pizza. Here's the extra mayonnaise you ordered. Yum, yum. Mm, this is the best stuff. <laughs> Considering some already find dipping french fries in mayonnaise disgusting, this next pizza topping is certain to turn a few stomachs. They put mayonnaise on it? Yes. Can you tell me why they do that? Although mayonnaise is one of the most diverse flavor profiles, the texture and nutritional value often have consumers turning away from the sauce to look for a healthier option. It seems that in Japan, this sentiment has not been extended to their pizza preferences. Mayo pizzas are so popular that Domino's has an entire line of pizza varieties that feature mayonnaise as the signature topping. The avocado shrimp, chicken teriyaki, giant quattro, and the mayo potato pie all feature specialized toppings, completed with a crust 
cross-stitching of mayonnaise. The pizzas certainly look beautiful, and considering how popular they have become, perhaps the mayo pizza should be the next addition to the North American Domino's menu. If not, just grab your jar and start crafting. It just freaks me out a bit. It's a little weird. Caviar and gold pizza. Maybe we could try that. Pizza sounds delicious. <laughs> One of the best pizza toppings on the list has to be one of the most luxurious. New York City has been the home to some of the most expensive dishes ever served because of its status with the wealthy and celebrities. One of the fanciest options in New York is actually one of the best, no stress and no mess foods, pizza. With New York's amazing pizza history, there's no surprise that this over-the-top pizza would come from the Big Apple itself. While most pizzas stick with the classic pepperoni or maybe get crazy with anchovies, this pizza is kicking it up a notch by adding actual gold and caviar. This pizza is not for those looking for a cheap Friday night meal to serve a group of hungry teenagers, considering this pie will cost you more than 2,000 US dollars. It's all about bucks, kid. This is definitely a pizza meant for extra special occasions. Be careful not to steal a slice of this pizza from the office fridge. It may cost you your month's paycheck. And I'd like to cash this check here. Vegemite pizza. Ew, gross. Although North Americans typically find the taste of Vegemite to be entirely off-putting, the taste is widely popular in other ex-British colonies. Australia loves Vegemite so much that they've begun to develop some recipes where it's not only used as a breakfast topping for toast. Recently, Vegemite pizzas have spread at a popular rate. Recipes online often call for a typical pizza recipe with the addition of drizzled Vegemite before it is baked. Other recipes have even gone so far as to stuff the crust with Vegemite. In 2015, Pizza Hut in Australia even launched its own version of the Vegemite pizza that featured stuffed crust with both cheese and Vegemite inside. Surprise! While the dish was not extremely popular, many reviewers said that it tasted very similar to the actual Vegemite and toast breakfast dish that children love. For the most part, though, it sounds like people would rather keep Vegemite at the breakfast bar. Oh my god, Evan. Seriously? Full English pizza. You put the two together, it's a taste of paradise. It is. What is one to do when they are craving pizza, but also a full English breakfast? I don't know. One chef in the UK had the brilliant idea to combine two of the best meals into one ultimate dish. The full English pizza is exactly what the name would cause you to expect. Imagine a cheese pizza. Now imagine that same cheese pizza with a full English breakfast placed happily on the top layer of cheese. That's basically what this pie is. Completed with all the classic fixings like sausage, grilled tomatoes, Potatoes, mushrooms, eggs, fried potatoes, bacon, baked beans, and even black pudding, this pizza is one of the most insane pizzas ever created. It certainly is not for the faint of heart, but those who need to give this beast a try for themselves are in luck. There are many recipes available online to recreate this masterpiece, but all you need to do is slather up a pizza with some of your favorite English breakfast foods, and there you have it. Donkey! <gasps> Don't eat that! Mm. Don't you find that a wee bit suspicious? Fried chicken pizza. You've got to get out of here. Two of the absolute best ways to feed the family quickly is by picking up a pizza or some southern classic fried chicken. So what better way to create the ultimate go-to dinner savior than by merging the two of them together? Despite giants like Pizza Hut and KFC brands being purchased by the Yum! brand over 30 years ago, this combination has only recently begun to hit restaurant menu boards. Over the last decade, Pizza Hut has tried in several international locations to offer a pizza featuring KFC fried chicken. In the Philippines, this pizza was known as the Chitsa and actually used fried chicken as the pizza crust. The pizza was then topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, cheese sauce, chicken ham, and pineapple pieces. Since its original release, KFC has also experimented with popcorn chicken pizzas at branches in the UK. In the words of Hannah Montana, you get the best of both worlds. That's true. Coconut pizza. If you touch the coconut, you are disqualified. While most pizza toppings aim to please savory cravings, one impressive pizza topping from Costa Rica is here to provide a completely different flavor experience. While coconuts alone may seem bizarre, when paired with beautiful fresh shrimp on a piping hot pizza pie, a beautiful flavor profile begins to emerge. This pizza takes coconut shrimp to an entirely new level. 
As can be seen with many of the ingredients on the list, chefs of different climates typically use what is geographically accessible when creating new and exciting recipes. Costa Rica has abundant access to both shrimp and coconuts due to its warm climate and coastal regions. Go get out of here! You're free now! Go on, go, go! Thank you. You're a good person. So it's no surprise that they have worked their way onto what seems to be the world's most versatile food in the entire world, pizza. It seems that just about anything can go onto a pizza. As long as it's well-constructed and carefully planned, nothing is impossible. Mention that slop hole again, and I walk. Muskba Pizza Muskba Pizza wasn't named after the toppings, but as an homage to the nation that is Russia. Muskba is the Russian word for Moscow, and since this pizza originated in Russia, the name is quite fitting. The toppings on this pizza are a little more bizarre than the actual name. If you're not a fan of fish, Hi, I'm Dory. then maybe refrain from ordering this one since it has over four different types of fish. Traditionally, the Muskba Pizza is covered in sardines, tuna, mackerel, and salmon. It also usually has toppings like onions, herbs and fish eggs. If the pizza toppings themselves weren't strange enough, people usually prefer to eat this pizza cold. Pizza cold out of the fridge is one of the best types of quick snacks, but imagine having a cold fish pizza delivered to your front door. You might find yourself calling the pizzeria to ask if you've been pranked. Is it April Fool's yet? The horror. Canned tuna pizza. Kind of gross, right? Yeah. <laughs> When most people think about classic German cuisine, they often think of sauerkraut and bratwurst with a nice cold beer to help wash down the meal. But rarely would they think about pizza, despite Germany's extremely close proximity to Italy. The inclusion of canned tuna as a German pizza topping might be one of the strangest toppings, and yet it's one of the most famous dishes in the region. The pizza is known as Tunfisch pizza, which is a direct translation to tuna fish pizza. This dish is so popular that although there are many internet recipes available to craft a version in your own kitchen, Pizza Hut and Domino's in Germany actually sell fast food versions of the dish. Traditionally, the pizzas are made with classic ingredients like peppers, onions, mozzarella, and tomato sauce, but the change in flavor profile comes with the addition of the canned tuna. Some grocery stores even offer frozen versions. It's the same concept, dude. Uh, actually, it's not the same concept. Banana Curry Pizza there is a huge debate about whether or not fruit belongs on pizza. Yes, you can say the tomato sauce is technically made from fruit, but that's another subject. While the Hawaiian pizza has seen much controversy, this other fruit pizza itself witnessed a few brief moments of internet fame. The banana curry pizza from Sweden is so strange looking that people were immediately disturbed by its mere existence. How dare someone put bananas on a pizza? Bananas! Curry and banana on a pizza does not sound appetizing. Have you had it? But for many Swedish citizens, this is a popular pizza dinner. While there are a few different recipes on the internet, the main ingredients that need to be focused on are the banana, curry sauce, and chicken or ham. This pizza may sound strange to some, but it makes others go absolutely bananas. If you're looking to broaden your taste buds, this is definitely a must-try at home. Just be careful not to slip on the banana peel. Hungry? <laughs> Pineapple pizza. So 10 pepperoni, yeah, 10 margarita, yep. and no okay. pineapple anywhere. What strange pizza topping list would be complete without the most controversial pizza topping of all time, pineapple? Although pineapple on a pizza may not be seen as very strange by some, it's extremely polarizing as pizza lovers either seem to be avid pineapple fans or be completely disgusted by the thought. Pineapples are basically the cilantro of the pizza world. You either love it or hate it with a passion. There is no in-between. Pineapple is traditionally served on pizza with ham slices on what is known as the Hawaiian. Fun fact about Hawaiian pizza, it's not even from Hawaii. It's only named the Hawaiian because it has pineapples on it. Hawaiian pizza was actually invented by a Canadian named Sam Panopoulos. It looks like we'll have to thank, or not, Canada for this controversial concoction. Canada, you did it again. Cicada pizza. What? If you're one of those people who think pineapple on pizza is gross, oh, thanks, but I'll pass. Then this next topping will have you longing for the sweet taste of soggy pineapple. Trust us. 
Recently in the United States, people have started putting cicadas, a cricket fly-like insect, on top of pizzas. In 2020, these bugs had a massive spawning season, which released young cicadas from the ground after a 17-year lull. Hmm, maybe they should have stayed down there. The chaos that these cicadas can cause brought some creative chefs to try out a new pizza topping. The pizzas can be made with basically anything you might enjoy, along with the bugs. Just ask yourself, what sounds better with a cicada, onions, or peppers. We're all for getting creative with sustainable ingredients, but this one might just be a little bit too big of a bite for us to take. Is it worth it? Oh yeah, it's worth it. Take another bite and tap or click for more of our great videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.